Now then, I'm going to show you this today. It's the Yamaha Pacifica Pack 1611MS. Now the MS stands for Mike Stern, famous jazz guitarist, very good guitarist he is as well. Now this is very, very special. I've never laid my hands on one before. I have seen them on the internet and whatnot. And it's, I mean, all Pacificas are really easy to play, but this is something very special. It's made in Japan. So straight away, you know, it's top quality. They're really rare. You don't see many of them uh, knocking about. This has been, uh, <laughs> We could basically, we got a lot of guitars from someone who collected them but didn't play them and he covered a lot of them in stickers. Now you'll see there's been just a bit of sun damage where the stickers haven't been. Okay, so I've taken them off, rubbed it all down I mean, it's all nice and smooth. The only real defect is this black mark here, which I can't seem to get off. But other than that, there's no dints bit of a mark near the strap bottom there but no no major dints even the headstock there's nothing at all great condition we've got a light ash body maple neck oiled maple neck and fretboard and it sounds fantastic because of these pickups so we've got a Seymour Duncan 59 humbucker in the neck position so when the pickup selector is over to the left it's that pickup only when it's over to the right got Seymour Duncan hot rails in a single coil when it's in the center you get both so for an example tones on full volumes on full going through a Roland JC 40 jazz chorus Beautiful amps, really are. Uh, so we're in the humbucker position, the neck pickup. Right over to the single coil hot rails. Obviously you can hear the difference there, like most guitars or all guitar electric guitars in the bridge position the pickup is extremely uh, bright and uh, considerably thinner in tone than the neck position whether you've got a single coil or a humbucker there when the pickup selector is in the middle you get involved <laughs> now for me personally i think the tone rolled off just about a third quarter maybe so that's all the way I think the tone rolled off about half the pickup selector in the middle so you're getting them both for me personally is a beautiful tone. Okay, so I'll play a little bit more on clean. It's a really good guitar, this. Uh, and then I'll pop the amp onto uh, distortion, and uh, it's it's just so versatile. Oh, before I forget, vintage tuners. I love vintage tuners, and it's got the stamp there, the made in Japan. We've got the Mike Stern signature. Stunning. Right, let's go. So a bit of open chord kind of uh, vibe.
guitar. Let's mm. try a bit of uh, funk. Pop the amp onto the overdrive or the distortion or we'll rock out for a moment. So, yeah, extremely versatile guitar. So, you know, great for jazz, lovely just for lead in general, funk, rock, if you're even doing metal. Just to reiterate, the pickup selector is in the center. I've rolled off the toe a little bit because it is a very bright guitar, like I said, extremely versatile. <laughs>
my god, what a guitar. That is phenomenal. Right at the end then, I just pulled the tone right up and then put the, the pickup selector on the humbucker for that, uh, for that bit of Metallica there. So what a guitar. Soul, funk, pop, lead, rhythm, metal, rock, jazz, everything. And like I said, they're quite rare as well. One thing I will point out, just you only notice it when the volume's off. So when you're plugged in, you're not gonna hear it. There's just a slight little rattle on the top E. Now, I'm gonna do my best to sort it out. It's just a little saddle. I wouldn't say it's an issue. It's only, it's only very, very slight. Anyway, neither here nor there, honest to God. What a guitar. So it's the Pack 1611 Mike Stern Signature. Yamaha Pacifica, top end, made in Japan. If you look on the website, I've taken some pictures. There's a write-up there. All the spec, you can have a bit more of an in-depth look. Add this to basket. This very guitar is yours, not mine. <laughs> Thanks a lot for listening. Cheers. I've been Kev. I'll see you again very soon. Nice one. Bye bye.